Hello, SAP Dude here. This video is more general without deep dive into specific functionality of SAP. If you have no idea what SAP is but you heard it's a gold mine, this video is for you. If you are not from IT but still want to earn great money, this video is for you. If you are not from IT and you are not into learning how to write code, this video is for you as well. On the other hand, if you want to do programming in the future, don't close this video. Let's make it straight from the very beginning. Junior SAP consultants earn way more than any other junior position in IT. For example, in Europe, in Germany, it's around 60k euro, Spain 45k, Switzerland around 90k Swiss francs. More figures you will see in the middle of this video. SAP is a multinational software company known for developing enterprise resource planning software that helps businesses manage various aspects of their operations such as finance, human resources, procurement and more. And this year is going to be really hot when it comes to this technology. These are just facts. SAP is on the market from 1972. They started with a small system, which evolved to something huge. There are many areas, many different roles in projects and lots of challenges. The latest version of SAP ERP system is so-called S4HANA, available on-premise or cloud. But it doesn't mean all the companies who use SAP have the latest version. Actually, it's only about 15%. And here comes the reason why you should jump into SAP world this year if you are not here yet. It's officially announced. All the version of SAP won't be supported after year 2027. So companies have about three years to implement S4HANA or stick to their old version and maintain it on their own. And many of them will do so because they heavily customized it, modified the source code, built lots of enhancements, connections with other systems, etc. But others want to move to S4HANA. And for this, of course, they need budget, which won't be small. But what's even more important, they need people, the right people, the experts in this field. And trust me, if you are good at it, you won't have a single day without a job. There are many areas in the SAP world and many roles. I will simplify it and first of all define the areas. SAP is a system used by big companies to handle business. We take a company from an automotive industry as an example. They produce car parts, mainly transmissions. They have five factories, one in Texas, second one in South Carolina and the other three in Europe, France, Germany and Hungary. Did I mention something about production? Exactly. This is one of the areas. SAP system supports production planning, scheduling, execution and much more. To produce anything, you need raw materials or semi-finished products. You need to buy them, basically you gotta manage so-called procurement. This is one of the topics covered by an area called materials management. Fine, you bought tons of components, but you have to store them somewhere and know in the future where they are actually located, right? Here comes the logistics area. And now something for people who care about the figures the most. Each material, each kind of activity has value. To be aware of cost production, cost of components and other resources, you need finance area. In SAP we have so-called finance and controlling. The difference between these two is not important right now. To sell the transmissions to your clients and to have control over these processes in such a big company, you will use sales and department area in SAP. And to make sure your factory, your assets are always up and running and preventive work is always planned and executed, you will use plan maintenance, asset management module. These are the main things. Of course, you will find others like HR and so on. The idea is to give you the first feeling what it looks like. In SAP projects, you will hear about something called bases. These folks make sure the servers are up and running, the system performance is on a satisfactory level, all relevant people have accounts and right access to the system, and so on. Now it's time to talk about the roles. For each area, at least one SAP consultant is needed. And we can differentiate two types of SAP consultants. The first one collects the requirements, talks to the business, has to assess what is possible in standard system 
and what is not. She or he configures the system, guides the client throughout the whole life cycle of the project, trains users, and so on. If standard version of SAP system is not enough and some custom program, logic, application is needed, it's something to be done by a technical consultant. It's of course possible to do two things, be a functional and technical SAP consultant. Technical means such guys are good at programming, system architecture, they know how different apps talk to each other and more. You will also find a role called SAP ABAP consultant and UI5 consultant. They do programming stuff and talk to functional technical consultants. ABAP is a classic language used in SAP system. UI5 is a JS framework built by SAP for their apps, which follow the design system called Fiori. If you are not into finance, controlling, logistics, and so on, no worries. There are also general roles like, for instance, SAP Security Consultant, Analytics, or so-called Basis Consultant. Of course, to deliver any SAP project, project managers are needed. They are more focused on deliverables, project methodology, and so on. They are not experts of finance, plant maintenance, and other areas. For sure you will find many other roles on LinkedIn, etc. But these ones, which I mentioned, are the key roles. Alright, now let's talk about one of the most important thing in this video. Money. How much we can earn. Everything depends on your location and experience. Here we go. A CP consultant in US with around 3 to 5 years of experience earns up to 120k dollars per year. A CP project manager in US who is at least five years in the business, gets up to 150k dollars. In Germany, as an SAP consultant with three to five years of experience, you get up to 130k dollars per year. SAP basis administrator in Paris, France, two to four years of working with the system and you get 120k dollars. SAP Fiori UI5 developer in Italy, a fresh one with around three years of experience, can get up to 120k dollars per year. SAP ABAP developer in London with the same experience gets around 110k dollars. Of course, these are just estimates. Moreover, these figures grow every day. As I told you, SAP experts are the most wanted people in IT industry. You saw the figures, so it's time for the second, the most important thing in this video. How to start learning. First of all, let me make it clear. It doesn't matter what you are doing right now, whether you are from IT industry or not. It doesn't matter. If you are working in a warehouse as a clerk, maybe as a machine operator, or maybe you work in a supermarket, it doesn't matter. What matters is if you want it. If you want to advise clients, build solutions, implement new technologies, and yeah, make a lot of money. If so, I have some recommendations for you. First of all, make sure you got a LinkedIn profile. You can start following SAP experts there, but be aware of the fact many of them just post SAP stuff, but they don't have practical experience. But you can follow them at the beginning. At LinkedIn, you can also find some SAP groups. For instance, ASUG, American SAP User Group, DSAG, which is for Germany, and so on. If you love reading, there is also a website called SAP Press and you can buy their books, for instance, for production planning module. But yeah, such books are about 1000 pages long. That's why I'm not a big fan of it. Anyway, I'm not a fan of software books at all. But maybe you will. You can also learn SAP directly from their websites. They have learning platforms. This one is for free for everyone, but it's of course limited. And it's mainly focused on product without business context, business processes, and practical knowledge. If you have a lot of money, you can buy an access to premium learning platforms from SAP, so-called Learning Hub. You will find the configuration steps in the system, sandbox system access, and others. However, again, you won't find their practical examples with deep dive into topics explanations, etc. Anyway, they give you a nice overview of processes. Or you can find courses created by experts. Many of them are based in India. If you want to learn plant maintenance, also called asset management, you are in a much better 
position. Why? First of all, you can find lots of free content related to this area on this channel. Just check out the other videos or the whole playlist. Second, I'm in the business for many years and I created so-called SAP Plan Maintenance Consultant Roadmap, which shows you step by step what you gotta learn to be a successful consultant in this area. It's totally free. And the third thing is, most of these steps, these milestones are covered in my ultimate course, which you can find in the description of this video. There's a lot of stuff there, about 17 hours of the most current things with everything, starting from the theory, what is plan maintenance, what is an asset and other stuff, then going to SAP topics like master data and finally business processes implementation. And every topic is covered in a let's say three-dimensional way, theory, system configuration and user steps. That's why it's the best plant maintenance course ever available. And it's of course based on SAP S4HANA system. If you are interested, check out the description where you can find a trailer with more info. Now you know why it's the best year to start your SAP career. Don't waste your time, take the first steps, enjoy it, cause it will be a long journey, but full of challenges and cool stuff. See you in some future SAP project.